All right, yeah, I got a little frost on my beard. Hey, Tyler Wood Bushcraft here. How's it going, everyone? Ooh, there's whoa, there's snow on the ground. It is cold. We got snow all around me, and I'm doing a little vloggy series today. We got something very special going on. So do me the favor. I know you guys probably heard me say this a lot. Smash that like button. Share this out. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you turn on all notifications on the little bell icon to make sure you guys can see all my latest and greatest videos. Maybe not so much the greatest. Eh, maybe some, maybe some. Like I said, I'm no expert. I'm no professional by any means. I'm just an outdoor enthusiast who loves the art of bushcrafting and the survival aspects too. You know, I think it's always good to be prepared. So, it's been a couple weeks now since I've been out here at the Bushcraft uh, Mini, the Mini Super Shelter, which I'm summing my words off a lot. But uh, we're gonna try this out. We got something special today. I hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, we're gonna be doing some bushcrafting today. So you guys seen a lot of these little mini survival challenges that I've done. Uh, I did finally get my camera fixed. It is working uh, perfectly now. I had a, a, a bad sensor issue uh, due to the cold weather. It was jamming up my sensor. So usually like right around 4.30, 5 o'clock at night, that's pretty much when I quit recording because my camera doesn't work and then sometimes when it does, uh, the footage the footage would be really bad it'd be real choppy for some reason so I got all that taken care of we're gonna go ahead and get back to our shelter and we're gonna we're gonna be crafting up a few things so like I said hit that like button share this out subscribe if you haven't already tell a friend tell a mom tell an ex lover tell your best friend tell a co-worker all right maybe don't tell your ex but Unless you get that kind of relationship. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so two things we're going to be needing for this bushcraft shovel is ironically we're going to be using what many people refer to this as a bushcraft shovel. This is a cold steel special forces shovel and I got my Agro Boreal 21 folding saw and let's get to building. Alright, yeah I got a little frost on my beard. Uh, here is the uh, mini uh, super shelter as you guys saw from the first video. I haven't really done too much with it since I've uh, taken a break. I actually hurt my back uh, messing around with one of those logs. I didn't stretch. I uh, looked at it the wrong way. Yada, 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 whatever, right? So I've been taking a break on that. I might work on it a little bit today in the middle of the, doing this little mini video, but I kind of wanted to start bringing more bushcraft to my channel. I mean, like I said, my channel name is Tyler Wood Bushcraft. You guys don't get to see a whole lot of the bush crafting side uh, but that's gonna change here soon I promise you so uh, man this tripod is heavy I need a I need to get a better tripod that's not gonna be so heavy so what's ironic is we're gonna be using this cold steel shovel and we're going to be making a shovel using a shovel 
Uh, I'm gonna try to use all of it. I might have to use my my saw for a little bit. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing? There's there's many different ways you can do this. Uh, I, I was kind of scavenging. Ooh, thank you guys over here. Let me uh, let me fix this camera here. There we go. I was gonna I was scavenging through YouTube, trying to find out, you know, who has done something like this as far as a bushcraft shovel. I couldn't. If you type in bushcraft shovel here on the YouTubes, uh, you're just gonna see a bunch of these uh, cold steel shovels. Not anything that's actually been made out in the bush, you know. Uh, Right now with it snowing, I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to do my version of what I think uh, what a bushcraft shovel would look like. The kind of stuff you would use out here in the woods, in the bush, I should say. Uh, bush, 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 right? So, that's the plan. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, there's, like I said, there's, uh, the two ways I'm thinking of is doing a 3-6 system. Uh, obviously, it would be a little bit more than three sticks, but the three main pieces, you would have one long one for the handle, and then you would have uh, essentially two that come off to the side to kind of give you your, your base of your shovel. Uh, I kind of want to go with like a, a, a squared off shovel. This is going to be more of a, a winter bushcraft shovel because it's not really meant for digging in the ground. It's, it's meant for just kind of uh, pushing snow out of the way to set up a, a tent or maybe even a... Uh, like maybe even uh, just moving some other way to start building a shelter, whatever. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be real fancy. It's not really as practical. I mean, I'm sure if I really took the time, it could be really a practical use. Uh, but, you know, something like this just makes things so much faster and easier. So, oh, let me, uh, here. Let me give you guys a better angle here. How about that? So, what we're going to be doing... It's just trying to find a nice wide branch that has a, a long enough handle that we could use on uh, making the shovel. All right. I'm still just walking around this winter wonderland that uh, we call the great state of Iowa. So any of you guys that are watching that are from Iowa, say what's up. Let's hang out. Let's do something. Wait, don't be a creeper though. Unless you're a creeper. Don't hit me up. Been down that road. I'm not going back. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, we're just uh, we're gonna find this this uh, branch that we're looking for, and uh, hopefully we can get uh, something that we could use. Oh wow, this is beautiful, guys. Hold on. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's actually a stick leaning over here, a branch, I should say, that has already fallen. So, we don't have to cut anything up. We're just gonna have to trim some of this off of it. We don't have to cut into a, a fresh live tree. So, we're gonna take this branch, and uh, we're gonna take it back to our shelter, and we're gonna start building our bushcraft all right, so now that we have our large branch, let's go ahead and take this back up to our, our mini super shelter. Now let's go ahead and start getting crafting on this.
Agua Boreal 21 for the win, guys. You guys know I absolutely love this saw. This thing is amazing. Like I said, I've had the blade on this for the last uh, nine months, and I have not had to change it out. That's what it looks like when it's all folded up. Awesome saw, guys. Awesome. All right, you guys. So I did trim up the... Uh, the base of, of our shovel. Now, there's gonna be many different ways you can do this. Uh, as far as laying the six out, going horizontal or vertical. Uh, what I wanna do, I wanna experiment with, I mean, I'm gonna do a, a, a bunch of different versions of this, but I'm going to do a weave pattern. I, I picked out some real nice green uh, bendable twigs that I can kinda uh, weave back and forth on this. So I think that's going to be uh, a really good starting point. Over and under. We're going to do something like that. And we're going to have to tie these in, of course. We're going to start from the, the far back towards the uh, where the uh, branch connects to the base. And we're just going to start back there and then work our way up. So... I think I'm going to do just kind of put this that way you guys have a better perspective kind of go through and show you some and then I'll get some close-up shots so you guys can kind of tell what I'm doing here Now, once we get our uh, horizontal, now we get down to the vertical point, and now we're going to these legs and reinforce it. I'm going to try to get the answer as well. That helps me get the notch on the back so it can hold the legs in place when doing this. Get the notch off for sure. I'm going to get to the next part of the puzzle and I'm going to do it as fast as I can. No, you need to get off the top. Start beginning. You're going to get to the next part of the puzzle and you're going to get to the next part of the puzzle. You're going to get to the next part of the puzzle. You're going to get to the next part of the puzzle. You're going to get to the next part of the puzzle. You're going to get to the next part of the puzzle. You're going to get to the next part of the puzzle. You're going to get to the next We got our bushcraft shovel made up. Now it's time to put it to use and see if it actually works. Alright, you guys, she's all done. 
that's kind of the, the zoomed out shot of it uh, if you guys can get this to 100 likes that tells me you guys love this bushcraft little projects that we do and I can start doing a lot more of them